Speedrunning in the past few years has led some games down rabbit holes you would have never expected. Most games any percent categories end up lasting that of a lunch break despite being hours long in its humble beginnings. A good example of this is how Jack 1 went from being around an hour to 16 minutes in only a few years. Jack 2 however is a game that stood the test of time with an incredibly robust route that doesn't seem to want to change. It's very likely that Jack 2 could end up going down the road as many other games where almost every avenue has been explored to the point where the game's fastest completion is often so short and broken that some skips don't allow you to play much of the game at all. It's really amazing how we've not ever had to really think about creating another category like any percent no something because that something was never found. In this video, I'm going to briefly talk about that something. This is Construction Side Skip. To better understand what Construction Side Skip is and what it could mean for the game, we have to talk about how missions work. Jack 2 and 3 both have missions that run off a flowchart. It's pretty easy to understand. If you beat Mission 1, it leads you to unlocking Mission 2, and so on. Later in the game, the flowchart splits into you having to do missions for several people in the story, and you have to beat all of them to progress. There is a very useful glitch we use both in Jack 2 and 3 called Percentage Warping. As an example, let's say you're at the first mission of the game, but you manage to find the mission trigger for the fifth mission. Once you beat that fifth mission, the game would then automatically assume that you beat all of the missions prior as well, since there are no other ways you could have gotten to where you are. If there were any rewards in the missions you skipped over, the game conveniently gives them to you. So let's say if mission 3 had a gun upgrade of some kind, you will automatically get it by doing the percentage warp. The reason it's called a percentage warp is because when you save your file, there's an in-game percent counter on how far into the game you are. So if you skip into a later mission, the percent amount shoots up to exactly where you are. The way we use this to our advantage in the speedrun is that after beating the first two missions, the loading zone from Mars Tomb is conveniently active the whole time and we can drive to it no problem. This skips us from 2% to 66%, essentially skipping two thirds of the entire game. And after completing our first mission in Mars Tomb, we get rewarded with the jetboard and three of the game's four guns that we actually never picked up. From there, it's just about doing all of the missions on the chart in order until you reach the last boss. And as broken as many people say the Jack games are, this any percent route has yet to be cracked by any sort of major multi-minute saving sequence break, and Mars Tomb Skip has been the fastest way to beat the game since 2008. Yes, we have since found the hover glitch, lap skips for the races, and many restart and death warps in the city, but in the grand scheme of things, the route is still the same. You still do the same missions and have always done the same missions regardless of how different they are from years ago. The only way we could get a faster route than the one we are currently using is if we could gain access to a mission trigger further into the game than Mars Tomb. There actually are a couple, but they are currently not even close to being within our reach. It's also possible we could end up discovering a new mission trigger that could grant us a new percentage warp. As far back as 2012 when I started running this game, there's always been one area that stood out from the rest as the holy grail that would kill any percent for good, and it just so happens to be this random door off the side of the city. Behind this door is the entrance to the construction site. This area is technically a mission, but all you really do there is watch a cutscene that's important for the story. There is no gameplay involved whatsoever despite being quite detailed. The reason this area is really important is obvious if we go back and look at the flowchart. It happens to be the fourth last mission in the game. If there was a way to make the cutscene for construction site play at any point in the game, all you would have to do is beat the first two missions, do red barrier skip as normal, drive to construction site, get the cutscene, and take the carrier to the nest and fight core. I would estimate the run length if this route was a reality would be somewhere in the ballpark of 6 to 10 minutes long. Unfortunately, our leads to finding the skip were cut short very early, but it is the skip that's been thought of the most by runners and glitch hunters of the game. If you use the game's debug mode, you can see that there is simply nothing behind the door except for a vague low-poly construction site off in the distance with no collision. Pretty cool. Now 
Now, there is a way to load the hallway past the door and even the construction site itself. I could use debug mode to show this off, but I think it's a good proof of concept that we were very close to discovering it even without debug mode, so I'll refrain from using it for this demonstration. First, you need to jump through this wall and turn to the left. As I've shown before, there's nothing behind the construction site door besides some out-of-bounds floor. When you go close to the door, the map will disappear, and this means the game thinks you're inside of the construction site interior. Now we're going to die and respawn in front of the door with the construction site checkpoint stored. We're then going to jump through this wall to the left of the door and stand in a very particular spot out of bounds in the hallway. If you jump in right away, you'll be stuck and none of the doors will open and you'll have to restart warp to get out. But if you stand in this spot and jump in like this, the construction side door will actually open, but unfortunately no cutscene plays. If a cutscene did play, the game would recognize that we are 90 something percent through the game and the next mission would be to infiltrate the nest. Many members of the community are fairly certain that construction side skip isn't possible, but we've been wrong before and this is one of the instances where I, you know, I hope we're wrong again. But making this video will hopefully shed some light on the thought that Jack 2 might have another percentage warp up its alley. Maybe it's construction site, maybe it's something else. You never know with this game. Thanks for watching.